Good morning, this is Donna with Gifted Energies, and it's approximately 5 a.m. on Tuesday morning, December 20th, 2016. I'm here to do a reading for Kayla. Kayla, we are doing an angel guidance reading today, and this reading brings you the guidance that your angels want you to know. I'm using three separate decks today. We're using the Angel Tarot by Doreen Virtue. Magical Messages from Your Fairies by Doreen Virtue. And the Romance Angel Tarot by Doreen Virtue. I'm just going to start today by shuffling the decks just until I feel an energy shift for each one. This is going to be a layered reading. You wanted to know where your focus should be at this time. You're interested in purchasing a house and being able to be closer to your husband. I understand that at this time you are um, not necessarily separated by choice, but due to your due to career and um, education, you are both living apart at this time. So I am going to ask that your angels, guides, guardians be with us today to bring you accurate guidance for your highest good. And finish shuffling this deck. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of frame as I'm shuffling. I'll try to stay in frame here for you. I just want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to do another reading for you. As I know you are a return customer, and I greatly appreciate that. And we're going to start off with three cards. The first card is going to represent what you currently no, what is clear to you about the situation or question that you're asking? Again, we're looking at where your focus should be at the current moment. Um, what are your next steps to take? What should you, what direction should you be following? And I'm actually going to start with the current deck here. This is magical messages from your fairies. And this is what is clear to you at the moment. And this is marriage. The fairies join you in celebrating wedded bliss. So this tells me that right now your focus should be on your marriage and making sure that that works and that it's not neglected. Um, what I feel that's important is constant communication with your husband. Um, communicating daily, at least by phone, maybe video chat, things like that, just to stay connected. That, that is a very important factor for you right now, making sure that your marriage is not neglected. The second card we're going to pull comes from the Angel Tarot deck. And this is the Ten of Water. Water focuses on the emotions. This is what isn't necessarily clear to you. The hidden things, the things in the subconscious. A contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. So I feel that right now, this is telling me that, that trust may be a big issue for you. Being able to freely trust your husband as he is away, trusting yourself, um, to keep everything going and to be strong and committed to one another. Um, trusting that everything in your relationship is going to turn out okay, that you will be able to reconnect, you will be able to get that house and live together and complete your, your education and start your, your careers and that all of this will come together and work out so that your marriage will be fulfilling and that you still have an outside life um, able to focus on your career um, other than just family. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pull another card, and this card um, shows me more of a ending result. Um, not necessarily the end, but where you should be be headed if you continue down the path, if you continue to nurture your relationship as you're away, um, and trying to connect as much as possible. And this is the honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Well, Christmas is coming up, and hopefully you're able to spend that time with your husband. Um, this just tells me that as long as you nurture your relationship and that you focus on building that family together, that things should turn out very well for you, that, that you should find that happiness with one another, and that you're still you're still in that honeymoon stage. You're still in, in love with one another. Um, so far, I see very positive things for your relationship, and it's telling me, this reading so far is telling me that your focus should be on that marriage and keeping things together. Yes, your career is important. Yes, schooling is very important, and I understand your husband is finishing up school, and that's wonderful. But nurturing that relationship and making sure that you you can stay connected, that that is where the focus needs to be. So we're going to build on this a little more. And I'm just going to start pulling cards and asking specific questions on the next the next question is what steps can you take currently? What what do your angels want you to do at this moment to make things work out for this relationship? They're, they're, right now your angels are showing me that this relationship is blessed, that this is a good thing for you. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull the cards in order as I have been. And we have travel. An upcoming trip provi proves to be life changing in a positive ways. Um, this kind of comes back to this enjoying some holiday time together. Um, maybe it's your turn to, or it's time to take, take a vacation together, travel together. Go see something that you're both interested in and kind of leave leave your focus off of schooling at the moment just so you have some me time together, so, some alone time together where, where your focus isn't on outside distractions and your focus should just be on you and the enjoyment of the time that you spend together. Um, seeing something together, plan a trip something that you have both wanted to see that maybe you you haven't had the chance to to visit if it's a museum it doesn't have to be far away um, it can be something nearby and close to both of you but taking the time to do this together and spending time together to to go out and go see this I feel that that's very important your your angels would like you to do this and it would be very nurturing to to both of you um, to have that time to and what I, the vision I see is that you both I see you in a vehicle I see you laughing I see happiness I see just completely reconnecting with one another and remembering what it was that made you fall in love with one another in the first place just it's very important that you don't forget those things. Um, the next card I'm going to ask your angels, guides, and guardians what what is it that needs to to happen to make everything kind of fall into place so that you can get the home that you're looking for and move in together, finish um, your studies, get the careers you want. Where do you need to go for that to make that work at this time? Now this is the two of water. Again, we're looking at emotions. Um, a relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness is important. The positive resolution of a conflict. So if there's been anything that either one of you um, has found fault with 
or has and this may be something even that you haven't spoken up about and told your significant other somehow I feel that there may be some resentment and it may be the fact that you're resenting spending the time away from one another um, understand that this isn't being done by choice it, it's being done more by well how do I say this it is by choice but it, it's a necessity to better yourselves that you're not doing it because you want to get away from one another one another but you're doing it so that you can come together stronger and and forgiving whatever faults that you find in the other is very important um, as you accept one another as you come together I think that you can be, build a very beautiful relationship together um, the next the next question I'm going to ask is what is the final final step what do you need to do to reconnect as quickly as possible to speed things up since your focus needs to be on that re relationship and connecting with an, uh, one another, nurturing one another. What do you need to do right now um, other than taking a trip together to, to make, to, to start living together once again, to, to make, to build that family relationship? Where does the focus need to, to be? Where, what steps do you need to take to build that relationship so that you're living together and having that life together? Where, where, where do you need to be in life right now? And this is telling me this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So don't look out for outside help. This tells me that you are with the person you're supposed to be. It's very likely this is your soulmate. This is the person that you are meant to spend the rest of your life with. And what I feel and what your angels are telling me is to let go of the fear, let go of the worry. Um, don't try to force things to happen because they are going to happen because it's meant to be. Um, trust and fate. These are the things that I'm hearing. They're telling me rejoice in the little moments. Seek comfort with one another. And then I'm being told trust and openness. Um, be open with your feelings, with your emotions, your needs. Um, be clear that your partner knows what needs need to be met, such as emotional needs, physical needs. Um, things that make your life comfortable. What are your expectations of your partner and your husband? Um, and then vice versa, make sure you ask your partner um, and make sure that you have balance in that relationship, that you're both giving equally and you're both trying just as hard to come together and make this relationship work. Make sure I'm being told when it comes to finding a house, and it's funny because I keep being shown kind of this grayish blue house that has two stories. Um, and I'm not sure what the significance of the color is, but that's the one thing that's standing out most to me is this light grayish blue. Um, but I feel that it brings peace and comfort. And as I just asked your guides for clarification, they're telling me that it's important that you come together in agreement on the home that you choose, that you both feel comfortable in this home, that you both like the amen amenities that are surrounding it, um, that it meets your needs, both of your needs, when it comes to career. Um, I'm also being told that it's very important that as you both have separate careers that 
you're both understanding and supportive of one another in the path that you choose to follow. If don't let your husband say, oh, well, you're the one who's supposed to stay home and take care of the family. This is where you need to be now. Um, I also feel and being I'm being told that your career is going to nurture you and help you to grow. Um, that your career is a very important part of building who you are. And I feel that goes for both of you, but I'm being shown you in particular. Um, that it is very important for you to to focus on your relationship and make sure that that relationship is nurtured, but also to stay focused on your career and be sure that you your outside needs, outside activities, um, these are important things for you as well. Um, to have a life outside of the relationship is important just as much as you build on this relationship. Don't smother one another with your love. Um, and as you are apart, it, as cliche as it sounds, absence makes the heart grow fonder. Um, that it just, as you're apart, it helps you to build trust for one another. It shows that you can trust one another. So it's strength, being apart actually strengthens relationship having your own career being independent in that way is an important part of who you are just understand that as much as your focus needs to be on the relationship and nurturing that relationship building that relationship you're with the right person your trust should be in faith that this that everything's going to work out that everything is going to come together and there should be no worries in that aspect but it's also important that you focus on you and what kind of, it, it's like your, your passion, your, what fuels your fire within. Because if that passion dies, then a little bit of you dies, which kind of pulls away from the relationship and that flame within you burns out, which burns, which the flame within your relationship would then start to die. You both need to be whole to make this relationship work. I hope I made that clear. So the final card is just what can, what is the best um, outcome you can expect? What what can you rely on? What what is it in in your relationship within your life and everything? What is what is the best outcome? What is the most you can hope for? And the card I've drawn is awakening, and this is Archangel Gabriel. Gabrielle, look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. And I think I kind of touched on that. Um, to be whole, to be, to be you, to, to make sure that you focus on yourself and your needs and, and your expectations in life, that everything is going to come together, even if things are put on hold for a little while as you've had to wait to reconnect with your husband as you've had to as you've focused on your own lives so that you can come together stronger um, this this can be a standstill and there may be more stencils and, and of course there's going to be more road bumps because every relationship has them but just understand that as long as you're yourself and you find who you are within and who you want to be in the future and you you also focus on that that all of this comes together all of this is i'm being told all of this is an adventure and of and building blocks okay let me reword this because i i'm, I'm being told i i said it wrong all of this all of this that you're going through are building blocks to your ultimate adventure in life. And that adventure is with your partner. And together, what I'm being shown in vision is holding hands, running forward, head fast in life. That you do this together, you support one another, you hold each other up, even though you are individual people. Your, your relationship is very important, but that is, that shouldn't, 
it should be nurtured, but not the main concern. Every, how do I explain this? Let me ask just one last time for, for a clear answer for you. Clear guidance for your highest good. Because I'm starting to hear things in a jumbled way. And, and angels reside on a higher vibrational level. So a lot of times what you see and what you hear, you have to interpret it yourself. Um, because their communication is different. They're, they're so much higher than we are. Um, but, but just to reiterate things. Final piece of advice is that everything is going to be fine and everything is going to work out. Uh, nurture, 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 nurture your relationship. Uh, that keeps coming back to me. But don't, don't worry, don't stress over it. And just be you. And let your partner be himself as well. Be, be, be happy as individuals uh, and as you come together, you better one another. I hope that this reading has given you the guidance that you're seeking. Um, again, when it comes to finding a home, I really feel that, that you're going to do so. I feel that this could happen, I'm being told, within the next 12 months. But be sure that you are both in agreement on everything they don't settle um, I'm being told it is very important when it comes to finding a home not to settle on something just because you want to be together it's important that you find a home that you are both happy with and both comfortable in um, other than that I'm being told expect a happy life and there's many many positive things to come in your life enjoy your time together take some time away from school from from focusing on bettering yourself and come together and spend some time and focus on nurturing your relationship go for a trip um, go see something you've never seen before and spend some time laughing together and reconnecting and remembering what made you fall in love in the first place. Brightest blessings. Have a wonderful day. Please feel free to contact me with any questions. Bye-bye.